Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I got an idea from an artist friend of mine uh, that I want to kind of try out. We're going to do a blooms transfer, but I want to do, you know, a background. The last time we did uh, blooms transfer a few videos back, we did kind of like a rainbow, but we did the gold cell activator as the background, which I love to do for the floating blooms. And a friend of mine suggested maybe let's try doing not only the gold cell activator, but adding an interference color uh, to that to give it more shimmer. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Maybe we should. So Casey, thanks for giving me these suggestions. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go get started. All right, so per usual, we are gonna go over the colors, the cell activator, the pillow, and then we'll get started painting. So. For the colors for the bloom transfer, I'm going to run through these really quickly. This is, well, you'll see it on the screen as well, but this is the uh, Antique Metallic Copper. And all the all the paints we're going to be using for the blooms transfer that you see here are mixed with my Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix. So there's that consistency. And then here is the Turquoise the Liquitex fluid color there. And now this one, I know it started with uh, the golden fluid there that you see, the burnt orange. I feel like I added another color, but this has been mixed up for quite a while. I don't remember, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Normally I'm so good about that, but uh, I'm just gonna say for the, for the sake of this video, this is just the burnt orange, but I feel like I added another color to it just to kind of brighten it up. And then finally, we've got the that Liquitex, the light blue permanent there. These are all the colors, again, that are going to be in our blooms transfer. And then, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you know, we're going to do a background. And I do have an interference color that I want to use, and I'm using here. This one is actually mixed with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia pouring medium mix. And this is... What is this again? This is, well, you'll see it on the screen, but this is the, this little piggy brulee. And if you can see, it kind of has, it's a, it's an interference, almost a copper, like a goldish copper. It's so, so beautiful. And there's what that looks like. And I, if you don't know what interference colors are, so you, you see how it kind of has a white cast to it, but as it dries, what you see on the stick next to the black portion is really what's left of it. Uh, interference colors, they dry basically clear with the shimmer left behind. They're more noticeable on uh, darker paints against darker backgrounds, and they have a more subtle shimmer on lighter and white uh, paints and backgrounds. So that's kind of what interference is. You can also look it up if you wanna get more information on it, but that's the gist of interference paints anyways. So. Those are all the paints we're gonna be using. And then I've got two cell activators here. Let me get some stir sticks. All right, I have got my favorite gold. You'll see on the screen here. There's the consistency of that one. And then I have got, what do I have got today? I have got the Amsterdam. Uh, black today. You'll also see that on the screen. So those are the consistencies of the two cell activators we're going to use. We're going to use this one for the back for the background swipe along with that interference color and then we're going to use this for the actual bloom. All right now my pillow. I have got my usual pillow. This is my Glidden Premium in Satin. You'll see that on the screen but I wanted to kind of show you the consistency of it. I just use it straight from the can. I get asked a lot if I ask any, if, if I uh, add anything to it. This, I just, I stick it in a smaller container just so it kind of can breathe and get the bubbles out from being in, you know, the gallon container, but I use it straight from the can, just like this. So now we are gonna head over to the canvas in the spinner box and I'm gonna kind of explain what we're gonna do a little bit. And then we will get started doing our blooms transfer here. All right, for this piece, I've got a 12 by 16 standard standard canvas taped up on the back. And as I kind of mentioned at the beginning of the video, I wanted to do a blooms transfer, but we're gonna swipe the background. I, I haven't decided if we're gonna go uh, back and forth this way, if we're gonna do it on the diagonal, but we're gonna do it with not only the gold cell activator, but that interference color 
to see what happens with that. And then I wanna do a transfer bloom, bloom transfer, transfer bloom. I think I kind of go in between the terms, but it's the same thing. And I'm gonna do it with a smaller palette knives. I don't wanna use my spreader because this is a smaller canvas and I kind of want them to be on the smaller side. So I have a little bit more room to play with, but also I wanna be able to leave negative space as well. I'm gonna let the paint speak though because we all know how plans go sometimes. So. All right, so we're gonna head back over to the bench and we're going to uh, bloom on our transfer board and then we'll get this flooded and we'll, uh, we'll let the bloom sit while we do our background swipe here and then we'll uh, get to transferring. So let's head back over to the bench. So here it is already. <laughs> I thought I was recording. I'm gonna put this aside and then we're gonna do another one so you can see all the layers, but, and I'll decide which one we're gonna use. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> all right. Let's start this over, even though I've already done it, but you just didn't see it. <laughs> we're gonna add pillow and we're gonna add some of this, this antique, this uh, antique copper metallic, just a little bit more, oops. And then this turquoise. And then the burnt orange color. Just a little bit more. And then finally this light blue. Oof, this is really pretty together. All right, and then finally we have our black cell activator. Oops, I'm gonna blow this out. Gosh, this blew out nicely. Just put a couple little swirlies in because they might transfer over. I don't really, this, these, this is just gorgeous. I don't really have anything else. We're gonna wreck it, but this looks gorgeous. Um, I'm just saying, we might have to do a floating bloom with these colors. <laughs> Every time this happens where I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> but, oh. Uh, all right, we're gonna let this sit now. I've got two, so I'll decide which one we're, you know, I feel looks better we're gonna use for our blooms transfer. I wanted to actually blow it out with the camera on this time. So now we're gonna go over to the bench and I'm, I'm gonna flood the canvas and then we're gonna put our uh, background on there and then we're gonna transfer this over. All right, I've got this canvas covered and I think we're just gonna go back and forth uh, just for this first time doing uh, with the gold cell activator and also the interference. So I'm gonna get this, uh, this palette knife loaded up and I will show you before we start swiping. All right, like so, I've got a thin layer of the gold cell activator and then I just drizzled on that uh, interference color, the, the brulee. So we're just gonna start right here. I am liking what's happening here. I got a lot of cell action here. I think I kind of 
press too hard over here so we're gonna get more shimmeriness instead of cells but I kind of like the uh, the mix of just kind of like a swipe and then the cells so I want to train I want to do the transfer now and I kind of want to hmm I want to ooh, what do I want to do with it I kind of want to stay in the middle, but I kind of want to maybe go this way a little bit. I don't know. We'll see what the paint has to say. Here's the the one that we did together. Here's that bloom. It's gorgeous. I'm definitely going to have to do a floating bloom or a, some kind of bloom with this where we don't wreck it. And then here's the one I did <laughs> where the camera was off. And there's a lot of blue in here. I think I'm going to use the other one, the one we did together. So I'm going to put this to the side. I may do another piece uh, real quickly after this video. All right, so we are going to, I think we're going to start right here. All right, I may want to add some more, but, or I might want to move some of the paints around. I do want to start spinning it just a little, just to see what my composition is going to look like before I do anything else. I do have some paint left, so let's just give this spin. A lot of these outer ones are going to, are going to come off anyways. It's more the middle. Let's go this way. Oof. All right, let's give I want another good spin before I do anything. Oof, yeah. Oof, I love these colors together. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see the shift of that background there with that interference. Gorgeous. Just move this up just a little bit. I want to give it another spin. I've still got a little bit more paint to get off. But this is turning out so nicely. Yeah. 
yeah. Ugh. These little, little, I don't even know what you, what, what I call them, but just these little out uh, from my scoop and drags. They almost remind me of little butterflies in flight. But we're getting close. Yeah, you know what, we're there. I don't want to stretch it too thin and have the, the paint start breaking up. This, I love this just as is. So I, I'm going to call this a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm going to get cleaned up. And I will bring you over the flyover of this guy. All right. I'm starting over here on this side because you can see I'm kind of moving my camera so you can see the background. That that shimmer is going to be throughout. So amazing. I'm going to go to the other side so you can kind of see without that light glare. All right. Here it is as a whole. But you did get to see the shimmer of the background. I'm so excited to see how that dries. But I've got my my light on too just so you can kind of see all those really cool shimmers but I love the movement in this piece <laughs> so much fun to do I love these transfer blooms they are just they're so different and unique every single time I don't know where the paint's gonna go but it just decides to go where it wants to go and I help it along I love this up here it's so so pretty we do have some subtle shimmers in here from that copper, that metal, antique metallic uh, color. So, so cool. I love the flow and the movement. All right, I will be back once this is dried to show you the dried piece. All right, here it is as a whole, all dried. Wait till you see the shimmers in this from that background that we did that swipe. So pretty. I love that it's, this is a little bit chaotic, but... You know, we still have some nice kind of almost negative space with just the background too. But it dried really beautifully. And I just love how uh, these ribbons turned out. And I always like when I can save some cells from from the wreckage. Ooh, you can see some of that shimmer in there. So pretty. I love how these just kind of drift off into nothingness and just going off the edge of the canvas. Let's go check out uh, some shimmers now and then we'll check out orientations. Ba bam You see that? Oh, now you don't. Now you do. Now you don't. <laughs> I so love that background is really neat. It does give it, it's a bit more bold now, adding that interference as opposed to just using the uh, gold cell activator it's a little bit more lacy so that was a nice surprise there and it's, it's just so pretty i am super pleased with how this turned out everything about it so let's go check out some of the orientations now oh this is nice too i kind of like how it's going vertical the background is matching it going vertically as well see this is nice too <laughs> Let's see what the last one shows us. Yeah, that's, I mean, actually, you know what? I think I like this vertical uh, a little bit better than the other one, but not a bad orientation. I, I like all all the ways myself, but I think the first is my, might be my favorite. I don't know. I may change my mind. I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts on the orientation here. I'm going to flip you around and give you my final thoughts on this piece. After much consideration, I still think this is my first uh favorite orientation the first way I had it. I, I loved this piece. The background was such a good idea, Casey. Thank you so much for suggesting that to me with the interference along with the gold. It definitely has its place. It kind of, uh, it, it does make it a lot more shimmery and it kind of alters the cells a little bit. I really like using the gold cell activator by itself it really gives a lacy effect. So there's definitely a place for both of these depending on the outcome you want in your background uh, along with your painted piece. So, as I said earlier in the video, we may have to do a floating bloom with these colors because <laughs> uh, both of those blooms that I ended up doing on the, uh, the hard boards were just beautiful and I was like, oh, I don't wanna wreck this, you know, you know how this goes. So. We may do an, a floating bloom in the next video or the one after it. We shall see. So, But I would love to hear your thoughts on this piece today. So let me know in the comments below. With that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.